Hello everybody, I'm Derek Chappers, this is your Farming Simulator 15 Mod Spotlight in our temporary home of Westbridge Hills Farm. It is temporary because I need to record this before I can figure out exactly which map I'm going to use for the rest of the Mod Spotlights for this quarter. So we're housing ourselves at Westbridge Hills just for the time being. Alright, let's jump straight into our mods here because we actually have several. Uh, the first one is a pack of mods. You get it off the uh, Farm Sim uh, Giants website. The link, of course, is always in the description. It is the Marshall pack. There is a Marshall QM Stroke 16 trailer. It's $21,000. We can buy that and look at that. Uh, there is... Um, where's the rest of it? Well, let's just go through all the mods I've got. How about that? All right. In sprayers, we have a John Deere 4730 sprayer, 245000 to buy 245 a day to own capacity of 5,000 liters and a 40 meter working width. Let's buy that guy. Link to that one, of course, is in the description. And in manure spreading, we have the Marshall MS 105. So let's buy that. That was 14,030 to buy. Requires 70 horsepower. It is a poo flinger. And then we have uh, this Marshall, the VES 2500. Uh, uh, 34,000 to buy, 20 a day to own, 14,000 liter capacity. So you're almost double up on your capacity for there. Buy that one. Eight meter working width, six meter working width. So you have an increase in working width as well. Still, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm really not sold on the whole manure spreaders. Bailing tech, we have the Marshall BC Stroke 32. 11,000 to buy, 10 a day to own. Is your bale transporter. Then, uh, these are some of the other mods that we added in. A PRF-180, 5,200 to buy, 10 a day to own. It is 90 horsepower working speed. Excellent little round baler. Buy that guy. A Metal Fosh Z562, 10,000 to buy, 95 a day to own. Need a 34 horsepower tractor. So you can run this on pretty much the smallest tractors you can find. 1.8 meter working with another baler. And then a PRP 1.6 round baler, 9,000 to buy, 90 a day to own, 48 horsepower. So again, all of these are low horsepower pieces of equipment and cheap pieces of equipment. Max working speed, 20 kilometers an hour, diameter 1.3 meters. Ooh. I like when they put extra information. Even if you might go, oh, that's stupid information. I'm like, that's extra information. That took them effort. Yay for them. Uh, all right, in four, three, no, it's not there, it's not there. Is it here? No. Is that all of the mods? I think it's all the mods. Oh, yeah, I already bought the John Deere. Derp. <laughs> okay, there we go. There's all of our equipment. All right, so the Marshall trailer. I'm not going to test the Marshall trailer, and I'll tell you why. Because this was required for a download of a map I was testing to, to try in the uh, in-game, and it works. It has an extra feature. I will hook up a truck. Let's hook up a truck. I think a truck will work. If not, we'll get the tractor. It does have the extra fe feature. I can hit N to close to cover. Now, it is the insta-close. And I'm not really a big fan of the insta-close covers. I like the, the ones that roll on and off. But still, I mean, it's not, it's not terrible. And I don't completely and totally hate it. And if I remember correctly, when I go get this bale trailer... <laughs> There we go. All right, yeah. So the bale trailer, it doesn't have the... Um, yeah, that's just that. It doesn't have a locking script. So it has it. it's not going to lock bales on. So if you drive like a gibbon, you're going to suffer for it appropriately. And then you got the two Marshall poo flingers there. One's a rear and one's a side. So there you go. Those are the Mar That's the Marshall pack. Uh, link is in the description. Again, I tested those ones on another map because they were required for that map. All right, so this John Deere is a big old spreader. We can walk underneath it, which actually, I mean, I'm I'm totally kosher with that. I'm like, hmm, I can walk through a wheel, but that's not a big deal. Get inside our John Deere. Let's get inside our John Deere. Hmm. Okay, so it's kind of, you know, lame inside the cab. But it is. Wow, is it a tall piece of equipment? Top speed of 52 kilometers an hour. Um, we're just going to go straight off of here because I don't think it's going to matter much to this thing. Bonk. Uh, we do have to fill it, but let's open this guy up. See this working with... Do the mirrors work? The mirrors do not work. Just know that much. All right, so we have some mouse control, but look at this working with. 
Woo. All right, what is mouse controlling going to do? Uh, I guess we have to wait for it fully unfolds. Oh, we're still unfolding. Wow, from here to New York City. There we go, all right. There we go, so up and down. Oh, look at that, It look at, it's changing the width of the, the tires there. Look at that. Very nice, you can straddle more or less as necessary. And then you can raise or lower. What's going on? Cool. Does it have, it does have all wheel steering. It does have the all wheel steering script. So look at that. So you got yourself a very large area sprayer, which in my opinion is very important. So I will, I will collapse this. I will fill it up and uh, ensure that it sprays pertily. So hold on while we go and uh, fill this guy up. All right, while we're sitting here, let's turn on some lights. Yep, beacons, yes. We have turn signals. Okay, horn. Silly sounding horn, but all right, cool. All right, now we'll head back. And I did notice that when I have the the sprayer collapse, it is front wheel steering, but as soon as the sprayer starts to unfold, it becomes an all wheel steering vehicle, which is pretty darn cool as you make those tight corners. Yeah, I know you're full, but I don't care. Because you were just set about to do your job, so I have stuff to bail. All right, let's uh, start the unfolding. So as soon as I start that unfolding, it should start to switch over to all wheel steering eventually. <laughs> there, all wheel steering now. Look at that. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Are you done unfolding yet? You're still unfolding. Wow. Oh, wow. All right. So this should be the end. There we go. So you can spray plenty of space all at once. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I will say, I mean, the body seems a little bit monolithic and the engine is really kind of sad. But it does its job and it's not completely broken. I mean, the tires are beautiful, beautifully detailed. And then the body just not, especially when you compare it to this guy here. You're just like, um, hmm, not quite there. All right. So that was the sprayer. Let's check out these balers. Anything cool about the balers I can touch on the outside and then, you know, ram my head against the baler repeatedly. Nope. Okay. Let's grab a baler. Who shall be the first bailer? You, because you're directly behind this tractor. That works. All right, let's get this bailer. Let's see, turn on bailer, lower pickup. So basic controls. That's cool. It, it looks it looks like a cheap but robust piece of equipment. And it is from what I read about it. It was Russian made during the Soviet era. So it was supposed to be inexpensive and rugged. We're going to lower the pickup while we're going at 42 kilometers an hour. Turn it on. All right, so we are on now. Here we go. Wow, look how fast it's collecting. Okay, so does it continue collecting? Okay, no, it does stop. Good. Back up. All right, unload the baler. Oh. Boink. Close the back. So, just like the in-game bailer in that respect, the PTO is spinning. I'm going to be chased by a round bale now. Stop chasing me. So, again, it's a cheap and cheerful piece of equipment designed to do one thing and do it well. Or as well as you would expect. All right. So, that's the PRF-180 round bailer. Let's get it out of the way here. Parker right there. So let's grab the next round baler in line. And the reason I wanted to grab these ones is I was looking for inexpensive baling equipment because the baling equipment in the game is a little bit exorbitant in prices. Not in reality, but at early game, it's just so expensive to run baling equipment. You're looking at what, 90 grand, I believe, 98 grand for the cheapest in-game baler. And at that price, 
I'm just like, it's, it's not worth it. It's not worth it at that price. But something a little cheap and cheerful like this, that's pretty cool. Lower the pickup, very nice. Turn it on. Look at that, little roller spin in there. Again, fills up very fast, but that's all right. Nice dust coming out the back. Got the beeper on it. Doesn't keep picking up once it's full, which is good. Okay, unload the Bela. Was that, uh, was that jump? Was that jump me or was that jump the baler itself? Hold on. Oh, look, you can even see it picking this stuff up. Look at that. Oop, helps if I actually picked up more. All right, hold on. Stopped. Okay, it does that weird, like, hiccup thing. I don't know whether that's normal or not, honestly. It does a weird little hiccup on the on the uh, hitch. I don't know about that one. Still has a little bit of extra compared to this one. Not, not much, of course. And then our last baler is the uh, PRK model here. Okay. F. Well, that's turning the lights on. Oh, that's on the tractor. Duh. Uh, turn on the baler, lower pickup. So still the same basics. Kind of dances and jitters. It's probably going a little bit fast for this uh, baler. Again, a Russian piece of equipment. So it probably was not designed for a class axiom to pull it at 52, 53 kilometers an hour. Get out of the way, cars. All right, let's lower the pickup. Okay, that sound is amazing. Oh, you can see the belts moving. Wait, it's already full. Oh my gosh, unload. Oh, look at the little bale. The bale's the same size as the other bales but it's physical size. But look at that, it's only 200. Wow, that is a small little baler there. That's that's uh, quite, quite the thing, I'll say that much. Man, this field would be absolutely stuffed with bales. <laughs> Whoa, there, little baler. You are not designed to be on this big tractor. All right, turn that off. Well, there we go. That was three balers. Now, this guy, this has got a lot of little moving parts. This flywheel starts spinning. The belts start moving. That's great. It's only a 200 liter capacity, so you're not talking about a big baler, but if you need a little baler, it'll get you started. It'll get you towards having cows. The metal fosh, uh, larger bales. And now completely, my brain just died, and I'm like, uh, I don't remember how much. But uh, go and look back at the video, see how much was in those bales. They were they were larger, a good deal larger. Uh, it has a weird behavior when you unload it, though. So I'm like, eh, I don't know. And then we've got this guy over here, which is the, the I think this is the, yeah, PRF 180. This one seems to be the best out of the bunch. Oh, there it was right there. That's PRF 180. Uh, this one seemed to be the best out of the bunch. All three of them are worth at least taking a look at if you're looking for some cheap and cheerful little balers. All Russian, I think. It's, eh, this one might be West German. East German, sorry. I don't know. The uh, end ones are definitely Russian. And then we had the Marshall Pack. Some trailers for you. They all work. They do their job. I've tested them on another map. I'm not going to test them again here. And then we had, here we go, our John Deere sprayer. I wish it had a little bit better detail on the body, but other than that, it's a decent enough sprayer. Doesn't seem to have any issues. And uh, has a 40 meter working width, which is excellent. All right, until next time, I've been Dirt Tabbers. This has been your Farming Simulator 15 Mod Spotlight. All these mods are down in the description below. Until next time, happy farming, everybody.